And now, Officer Liz Egan and a nightmare relive. People have different reasons for becoming cops. And they like the job for different reasons. I've been with the Tulsa, Oklahoma Force for 10 years, and what I like about it is the responsibility I have. Some people let their job get routine, but I respond mostly to domestic violence calls, and believe me, that never gets routine. I've had special training on how to handle domestic situations, but I also had another kind of training, a very personal kind. Most times, when I get a call for a domestic situation, I can't help thinking about the night when my family was the one who had to make such a call. I was about 15, living with my parents here in Tulsa, and my brother came home one night, drunk. Will, go away! You know you can't come in here like this. What do you mean? I live here for God's sake! My brother Will was an alcoholic and the standing rule was he wasn't allowed in the house if he'd been drinking. But he lost his job that day and wasn't in any mood to be agreeable. Come on, Ma, let me in. Now live here for God's sake. You know the rules. Let me in. Not when you're drunk. This is my house. And I can come and go whenever I'd been asleep in my room, but all the commotion woke me up. Not you! It wasn't the first time I'd heard a scene of you this come nature. Come get me up. Come on! Come on! I'll take you all on! Will, get out of the house now! It's gonna stop. You? Come on! You can throw us out! You ain't no father! You are not enough! You just get out! Who's telling you to get out, huh? Well, drop the chair, buddy! Stand up for them! When my brother started attacking my mother, my dad, who had a history of heart trouble, collapsed. He was dead before the ambulance driver got there. And it always comes back to me when I get a domestic call. I guess that's why I try so hard to work things out. Edward 302. Edward 302. We have a violent domestic situation, 18214 East 4th Avenue. Uh, dispatch, way out in the boonies in Catoosa, isn't there anyone closer? Sorry, Edward 302, just you and Lacey, he's head there now. Okay, I'm on my way. Well, wouldn't you know it, there goes my quiet Saturday night. I knew it had to be serious if they were calling me from over 10 miles away. I figured it was a bad one. The thing about domestic cases is that by the time the police get the call, it's usually already happened a few times. And the call I got on this particular night was just like that. Ma'am, did you make the call? Uh-huh. And what is your name? Carla. Carla Truax. And your husband, Carla, what is his name? Isaac. Is she in the house? Yeah, but I got the kids out. That's good. You did the right thing. Is he armed, ma'am? No. He just used his hands. What happened? He wanted to hold the baby. I told him he was too drunk. He tried to take her from me, and I wouldn't let him. He just started hitting me. Has this happened before? Yeah, lots of times. All right. Do you want to press charges? Yes, I do. All right, you stay here. We're going inside. You better be careful. He's been arrested several times for driving under the influence, and he put up a big fight each time. He ain't gonna go easily. Well, thank you, ma'am. We'll be all right. Here we go on another one. To be honest, Chris Lacey and I had only worked together a few times and didn't really see eye to eye. But at times like this, you put all that aside. Mr. Truax? Isaac? It's the police. We'd like to talk to you. I'm talking to nobody. You want me, you come and get me now. Who's telling you to get up? Well, drop the chair. Get up.
Isaac Truax. You're under arrest. Please stand up. You are under arrest, sir. Now stand up. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not going to jail. We'll see. Please turn around, sir. Please turn around. Watch it, Liz. Sometimes it's almost impossible for a single officer to handcuff a man who doesn't want to be cuffed. He was so strong. <laughs> Suddenly, he had Chris pinned, and he was in trouble. I would have felt justified to fire on Truax at this point, but the way he and Chris were fighting, I was afraid I might hit Chris instead. I had to find another way to slow him down. Drop the baton, Isaac. Drop it. I kept hoping Truax would give in, but he was impervious to pain. I realized we needed help and hit the emergency button on my radio. Chris, get up now! Don't try it. Easy pickings, cop. Emergency, 46 East 4th Street. Officer needs assistance. Please send ambulance and backup. I was so relieved when I thought he'd given in, but he still had a few surprises up his sleeve. Yeah, this is Isaac Truax. Want to talk to my lawyer? At first, I thought it was a bluff. It was too ridiculous. I'll tell you what's up just been beaten up by two cops. They say I'm under arrest. Well, I want you to meet me down at the jail. Yeah, I meet tonight! What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna shoot me? Just don't make a move. You don't get the guts. Don't bet on me. We stood there as backup arrived, and a crowd gathered around Carla Truax outside on the street. It seemed like it took an hour, but I was never so happy to hear police sirens. He's drunk. I, I don't know what's going on. Just stay back. Just stay back. Just stay back. Come on, folks, please. He does Move this on. all the time. When are you going to put him away? Please, just stand back. We'll take care of it. Lacey, you all right? Vegan's in there. Watch it. This guy's a monster. Get him over to those paramedics. Let's go. Egan? Yeah, just be careful with this guy. All right, now you're not going to give us any more trouble, now, are you, big guy? You're just going to try me, pig? Let's just take this nice and easy, all right? I got Lacey and I became good friends after this incident and have often responded to calls together. I still handle a lot of domestic violence calls and I've always gotten everyone out alive. I try to help people work out their problems so they don't have to go to jail. Isaac Truax didn't want to work things out. He wanted to fight, but we still got him out alive. My dad, he wasn't so lucky. Like I said, there's no routine to this type of situation. Sometimes it works out. And sometimes it doesn't. Cop Cops returns in a moment with the aftermath of these stories. So did hire an auto centers.
Here's a top cop safety tip. Start a home safety drill plan with your family. Practice fire drills that have multiple escape routes. This can help ensure that everyone knows what to do in case of an emergency. Be prepared. It could save your life. There's an 878. All day strong, all day long. For an official Real Stories of the Highway Patrol merchandise catalog, send your name and address to Real Stories of the Highway Patrol, P.O. Box 6188, Burbank, California, 91510-6188. Mighty Might, lightweight power for carpets, bare floors, car, workshop. Now, price to move. Mighty Might, only from your... Submitted to companies. Call 1-800-288-IDEA for free information. Philip DuPont was pronounced dead at the scene. An autopsy revealed a high content of PCP in his system. Both Helen Cross and Officer Walter Allen recovered fully from their injuries. Officer Terry Blaylock eventually returned to the street patrol. In 1985, he received the Medal of Bravery from the Florida Policeman's Hall of Fame. He continues to serve as a member of the Chino Police Department. Isaac Truax was charged with aggravated assault on a police officer and domestic violence. He was sentenced to a year in prison. He and his wife are now divorced. Officers Chris Lacey and Elizabeth Egan continue to serve the citizens of Tulsa as members of their police department.